Listen, each play in the NFL is precious. An offense usually gets around 60 to 65 plays a game. So any play in which a defense is not ready, an offense racks up five yards via a false start, illegal procedure, it's big. It it can't just be waved away. And far too often, this New York Jets defense is not ready at the snap of the ball. Sometimes, as seen earlier in the year, C.J. Mosley, the Mike, uh, the leader of the defense, does great things in terms of changing plays. Against the Dolphins in that loss this past Sunday, 24-17, there was a play on the first drive of the game, a third and four, in which Mosley appears to change the play late and it results in disaster. Now, it's not all on Mosley either. You know, could it have been an automatic call? Absolutely. And even though it was a disaster from a strategic point of view, changing on the fly, the Jets still could have stopped it. And fundamentals doomed them. Uh, Specifically, not being able to break down, use the sideline as an extra defender and make the tackle. Check it out. Third and four opening drive. I don't know what the hell the Jets are doing. Let's watch this play. Tua looks left, looks right, finds the flat, missed tackle, missed tackle, first down. I mean, it's as infuriating as anything. If you're a defensive coach, if you're a defensive player, teammate, you got to be able to make these tackles. But let's go to the top because we got three by one. Again, Y ISO, which Miami loves to do get Gusecki on an island, and this was one game where Bryce Hall actually traveled left, right, whatever, to match, which was good to see. But here, three by one, Gusecki condensed. You're worried about the fade because of that tighter split. You got motion with the running back. The first major error here is, okay, man, man, man. Um, You got Mosley on the number three right here on the line. And then you got Quincy Williams and Riley probably looking for first in the flat to their side with this back. But as soon as the motion happens, watch Mosley. Mosley looking around, trying to change things at the snap. You can't do it. You can't do that. So look at the Jets defenders all looking, looking, looking. No one's ready. No one's ready. No one's ready. Uh, The slot here, who was that Carter, comes on a blitz. It's just ill-conceived. It's just a bad job. Uh, Riley, who broadens out because of the motion, looks to be man man coverage. Ashton Davis and Riley then rotate. Watch Davis come over. uh, From maybe a one deep to a two deep or one deep to a one deep from Ashton Davis having to guard the slot on the other side with Riley dropping with Quincy Williams taking the man motion. No one's ready. There goes Carter on the blitz. This guy's wide open. Good thing Tua looks left first. But good job call out with Quincy Williams and Hall bracketing these two guys. It's it's a first in, second out situation for the inside guy, Williams. The opposite for Hall. They do a great job. Look at this wide open guy at the goal line. Tua doesn't see it because he looks left first. I guess it's Ashton Davis who's in coverage here. But it's because of the... You know, the the audible, the late audible, which he just can't do, Mosley, Tom Mosley, that he gets open there. Uh, I do not think Carter was going to be blitzing based on the first call. But still, Tua progresses. There goes Carter through the middle of the line of scrimmage. As Tua progresses, and again, great coverage by Quincy Williams. I really like the way he positioned himself here with Hall in a stack look because of the motion. Again, first in, second out for Williams. First out, second in for Hall. That's how it works. Tua eventually gets to the right side, to the flat. Not the guy who's wide open, but the running back who leaks out, who's definitely Mosley. This is Mosley's responsibility here. He's looking at him, looking at him, gets depth right there, which I can understand. Still has plenty of time. So we got Ashton Davis and Mosley pursuing, trying to take the correct angles against this running back in the flat. Remember, it's third and four. He's going to catch it near the sideline. 
Not the greatest pass, not terrible either, but here you're in great shape. Just break down, under control, make the tackle. Ashton Davis, like a bullet, comes flying in, off balance right here. I mean, look at this. Does he get pushed? Is there contact? I don't know, but right, left, you got to break down. You got to sink those hips. You got to play inside out. See, he over pursues it. This is the sideline here. Use the sideline as an extra defender. He doesn't do that. Inside out. He's already over pursued it. You want to be inside out, head across, use that right shoulder pad to make the tackle. Under control. Not under control. Almost gets there at the last moment. Head is across. Right arm up where you want to be, but he doesn't wrap. And, and the speed, it just makes it so difficult to hang on to that wrap. And his weight moves to the right side. See, if he's more inside out, taking a uh, flatter angle, which is what you want to do, Instead of downhill, if you're taking a flatter angle inside out, your momentum is going to go through the ball carrier instead of missing him to the right. And that's what happens here with Davis, where he misses him to the right. It's out of control and it doesn't go through the ball carrier. So there's a missed tackle. Mosley, he still has a chance. He still has a chance to create a fourth down here. Overdoes it a little bit. Ball carrier, good move. But again, a case of Ashton Davis just being too out of control, too fast. And then Mosley just over pursuing it a little bit. And from the get-go, a case of trying to make a call way too late when you shouldn't do so based on the motion. You know, I understand there's, there's automatic calls, especially if you go empty. Uh, you you want to get that fifth man, create a five-on-five -five situation in an empty situation where there's no running back, no sixth pass blocker, but you can't do it if you're going to run the risk of not being ready and, you know, creating a wide open guy, which was the slot on the right side. Ashton Davis had no chance to get over. So there's the motion. Mosley starts to yell. Quincy Williams widens. Riley, who's going to go one-on-one -on -one here, has to rotate back. Ashton Davis has to get over to cover the slot with Michael Carter blitzing. Uh, what was the original call? Uh, I think it was just cover one man with, with a free and Ashton Davis and man with a four man rush. And then the empty probably prompted an automatic call. And it was just a disaster from the start right here. Ashton Davis, you want him to be a little more inside out at this point, a little more flat. Like I said, flat left to right instead of up and down. A uh, 45 degree angle is that is the perfect pursuit angle for when you're dealing with a sideline inside out little contact here for sure messes him up a bit, but explode sink those hips a little more. So your head is up, your head is facing the ball carrier explode in a 45 degree angle. So your weight goes through the ball carrier instead of missing or submarine and take out his legs. One of the two what you can't do is be out of control and miss to the point where your head is not across. See, this is a better angle than the other one. His head is not fully across. The bump definitely had something to do with it, but if his head is across and the right shoulder pad, 45 degree angle, it'll, it'll, his momentum will go through the ball carrier, and that's what you want. And then Mosley, I mean, break down, break down, break down. Good angle here, good angle here. Then he flattens it out way too much. No reason to flatten it out. And, uh, you know, again, it's tough to go a million miles an hour and then break down and then try to be under control. But I, I know Mosley could do it. And he just, he just over-pursues it. Over-pursues it, never gets it under control. They give up a huge first down. This backbreaker eventually led to the Dolphins' first touchdown of the game, the game's first score. And although it was 7-7 for most of the game, this one set the tone. Mistakes left and right, you know, Tua, the Dolphins should have put up many more points on this defense. When you have young players trying to navigate their way through the speed of the NFL, you can't have breakdowns like this. you got to be ready. you got to be buttoned up. 